Welcome to our devotional series on the book of Exodus. Today we're in Exodus chapter 5, verses 10 to 14. So the taskmasters of the people and their foremen went out and spoke to the people, saying, Thus says Pharaoh, I am not going to give you any straw. You go and get straw for yourselves wherever you can find it, but none of your labor will be reduced. So the people scattered through all the land of Egypt to gather stubble for straw. The taskmasters pressed them, saying, Complete your work quota, your daily amount, just as when you had straw. Moreover, the foremen of the sons of Israel, whom Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and were asked, Why have you not completed your required amount, either yesterday or today, in making brick as previously? So in the work arrangement, the, there were crews, sets of workers, groups of workers, and over each group of workers here, you had a, a Hebrew person who was a foreman over that group of worker. Each group has that setup. And then over the Hebrew foreman was an Egyptian taskmaster. And of course, they were doing a lot of tallying and making sure we had made this much production, this many bricks, you know, hauled from here to there and made this way. And uh, without with having to gather the stubble and just the little bits they could find for the straw, they couldn't keep up. And so when they couldn't keep up, what happened? The Egyptians beat the Hebrew foreman. And so again, we see that Pharaoh has set here basically a, a, a virtually impossible task. And meanwhile, in the Bible, we find out that Jesus says, take my yoke upon you. My, my burden is easy. My burden is light. I will, I will work with you. Pharaoh's work is to demean and plunder and demoralize and treat people as objects, to, to plunder their labor, take their labor from them, and to use them up and spit them out. You know, uh, God's arrangement is he brings liberty. God is looking to, uh, now it's not liberty not to have a master. You see, it's liberty from oppression. It's, it's it liberty within, under the working of a master who is love, absolute love. So really, it's not that the Jews are choosing to have a master or not have a master. They're getting to choose if they have a master who oppresses and murders Pharaoh, Satan, representing Satan's thought working through Pharaoh, or a master who is benevolent, a master who loves and builds up and nurtures the image of God in man. And so we have Yahweh, or God, the God of heaven and earth. It's a choice of masters. It's not a choice between freedom and oppression. It's a choice between freedom and oppression kind of secondarily. But a person who follows the Lord Jesus, he is not free, he's free, okay? You understand what I'm saying? We have a master, only our master is a good one. Our master builds us and helps us. So that's the choice, that's always been the choice, and that's uh, what's going to play out here in Egypt. So let's watch as we carry on with this experience. So, so this is the first request has been made. Pharaoh said no, and uh, we'll carry on to see what happens next.